Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let's talk about what happened between Bukania and Supreme Area Confraternity in Jua Polytechnic right there in Owa in Owa State. And there is this video that I want to share with you. But before I share the video with you, I want to quickly tell you guys what happened. And after I share the video with you, I will also tell you guys what happened after this video was made. So this incident actually happened about four days ago when a young man who is a member of Bukania had a problem with another young man who doesn't belong to any confraternity. It is said that after this problem, they settled the matter right there inside the polytechnic. But the young man that had the problem with the Bukania member wasn't satisfied how the matter was settled. So he went to tell a member of Eye what has happened. So a lot of people are saying that the area member that he went to speak with is his brother. So after he explained everything that happened to the area member, the area member got really angry and he called some of his friends who are also area members and they went into the polytechnic and they kidnapped this young man, took him into the bush and asked him to sit on the ground. Now what they were actually doing is essentially this trend that they started in Lagos by taking a confraternity member into a corner and ask the person if the person is really a confraternity member. But in this case, they weren't telling the young man to identify himself because they already know he is a member of Bukania. What they were doing was basically humiliation. They asked if he is a member of Bukania. He said yes and they started insulting Bukania and also the leaders of the Bukania in that polytechnic. And the young man just had to agree to everything they say because this young man were holding a tool, they were holding a camera and you know what young man? can do in this situation so i am going to play the video for you so that you guys can hear for yourself i will come back to tell you guys the action that the pokania members took after this video was made uh, we fuck off for inside school. In a fuck off for inside school. Yes, we fuck off for inside school. Talk louder. louder. Eh? We fuck off for inside school. Okay. Any fuck off will be do what? Will be treated. Uh, you, don't, you don't die. I know I no get level for inside school. Mm -hmm. say, you, say you hear me now. Yes, I, I know I no get level. We na elebe. We na tigis. Say for me now. Na come price for tigis. Yeah, make it thirty. Now go. Now go kill your number one. Die your number two. The number three. Oh yeah, yeah. Now go go. No go call off na generation. No go better for now. You are Laura. Now go die for this temple. No go better for you. You go. Yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah, on it. Jere. Shall we tell you? 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 So you have heard for yourself. So before I tell you guys what Bukanyan members did after this video was made, I quickly want to point out that the young man wasn't brought down. They actually allow him to leave after they have insulted him and the confraternity he belonged to. And I just want to say that this young man should buy his mother a very good gift this Christmas. Because I believe that it is the prayer of his mother that actually made them allow him to go free. Because you know what happens when confraternity members are surrounding someone like this and they are asking him questions and speaking to him in that manner while they are holding a tool. So now let's go to the action that the Bukania members took after this video was made. So after they allowed the young man to leave, the Bukania members in that polytechnic actually said they don't have any problems with AI members so they don't want to go into war with AI members. But they don't just want the matter to slide like that, they don't want to sweep it under the rug. So what they did was to take this matter to the law enforcement agency. So what they did was to go to the office of Abotekun to report the AI members about what has happened. So they explained everything to Amotekun and right now Amotekun started looking for the AI members who are involved in this act. And right now as we speak, all the AI members have traveled because Amotekun is looking for them. But I think this is a win-win situation for everyone because I have always said it on this platform, everything is not about violence. If people offend you, you can get them arrested even if you are a confraternity member. 
and the way it is now when the Amotekun finally arrest these AYA members they are not going to bring them down they are not going to sentence them to jail because nobody was brought down in the incident it was just a misunderstanding so i think it is a win-win situation for everyone and this is just my opinion anyway guys you are watching nigerian 